So you're going to use StreamYard to record also? Yep. All right, YouTube Clubhouse. We got to record from StreamYard first. What's going on, y'all? I have to get my phone. Sorry. Go ahead. You go ahead and talk, so you good. Go ahead and talk. Oh, okay. What's going on, y'all? True Director of Revenue, Abby Souffrant. Welcome to the Pipeline Conversations podcast. We are here drop here to drop some more gems. Let y'all know what's going on in these government streets. Let y'all know what's going on with these contracts, okay, and these opportunities for small business owners. So without further ado, let me go ahead and do my introduction. What's going on, y'all? Again, my name is Abby Souffrant. I am your Director of Revenue, uh, representing the company, a &L Business Solutions. We are here to help small businesses add an additional stream of income to their revenue model by partnering with the number one customer in the world, the U.S. government. So without further ado, let me go ahead and tell y'all some specs, what's going on in the streets. All right, so this week, this week, y'all, um, oh, I didn't even add it up. Mm -mm -mm. Look at me. I ain't even ready. I got my numbers here. Look, let me tell you something right now. Since the holidays are over and people are back in the office, these contracts are flowing, all right? And I'm going to tell you right now, these contracts that I've been seeing on the federal side look amazing. So y'all make sure that y'all are registered, that you have your uh, SAMS registration, that you actually have a cage code. You need a cage code to actually bid on the solicitations that are um, and opportunities that are presented in um, SAM.gov or any federal contracts from any federal agencies and it varies on the state side but most states have a state portal and then you have your city your county your school portals and there are lots and lots of portals um, available so I don't want y'all to miss out on those opportunities okay let me see I'm trying to add up all these numbers okay that sounds great that looks great actually all right so the number of new opportunities that we found this week are 5,488. That's amazing. <laughs> there are 5,488 new opportunities for small businesses to gain a stream of income um, by doing what you already do. You just have to find out where those opportunities are. And so if you're still unsure as to how to get into the government realm, what to do, how to even get government contract ready, um, here on our YouTube channel, which is um, at Abby Souffrant, you will find our checklist, um, our checklist channel categories, right? And I have my um, free guide, basically, where I have videos that will um, explain how to complete every task on our checklist if you get a little confused. Because some people will see it, they read it, but they really don't know what to do with it. So my team and I put together time to actually do videos so that y'all can better understand, like, Okay, here's how you go do it. This is where you go to go do it, right? Um, so I hope y'all go check that out. Um, another thing is that we also have our resource membership. And we meet every Monday. We go through an RFP. We write, I write out an outline of how I would respond. Um, you guys get to ask questions. Um, I really teach y'all how to source contracts, whether it's federal, whether it's state, local, school, whatever. Um, I'd like to now, like, I feel like I'm going to start calling myself, like, the resource queen, like, the, the sourcing queen, because when I tell y'all I find these contracts, baby, I can find these contracts. <laughs> I can find these contracts, and the contracts are contracting, okay? The opportunities that are out there are, like, that. I can't even, like, keep it all to myself. They're they're so good. They are so great, and they really can change the trajectory of your life. Remember, contracts or these opportunities are simply problems that other agencies and uh, that these other agencies have and so what happens is you your company comes in to help them solve that problem by way of a proposal don't they sound like phenomenal right now i don't want to make it seem like it's easy because it, it it there are several steps involved but don't be discouraged we, we can get through it okay if i can do it let me tell you something if i can do it Oh, I am se severely confident. Is this se it's a word, severely even the right word I change. I don't even know. Um, I'm very, very confident that you can definitely do that. So, <laughs> 5,488 opportunities for you to change your life are available from this past week, right? So, y'all make sure y'all go and look for these opportunities because they are starting to roll out left and 
right. So I also wanted to talk about my tickled um, contract of the week. So my tickled contract of the week is usually a contract that I'm just like, oh, they're looking for that? That's what they're looking for? Oh, okay. Okay, that's what's up. You know, just, I see so many different things and so many just, oh my gosh. It's it's kind of crazy, like, what these agencies ask for, what they need help with. It's like, can't y'all really, like, use it? Like, the the employees you already have on staff to get some of these, these tasks and things done? Apparently not. But that's okay, because you're looking at people like me who own a business to help you solve that problem. And guess what? I'm here to help you solve that problem. I sure am, right? So let me go ahead and pull up <laughs> this contract that I found. And it is out of the state of Ohio. Okay, if you are from Ohio, go ahead and drop an OH in the comments. Okay, I want to know who all of my Ohio connects are, right? Because you know your girl might want a subcontract or need a subcontractor uh, in another state. And I just want to build my own portfolio. I, I'm going to say it right now. Yeah, I'm very selfish. I want to build my own portfolio so that we can win. I ain't that selfish, y'all. I'm really not. I want to send the, send the elevator back down so that we can win, okay? We both go back to the top, okay? Y'all feel me? Okay. And if you're not from Ohio, like, drop your drop your state in the comments. And either do me one better, drop your industry in the comments, okay? Because the government buy everything, okay? So this particular contract is out of the city of Dayton in Ohio under the Department of Aviation. Okay, fancy, okay. If you, don't know, if you don't know the Department of Aviation, they deal with airplanes, airports, things of that nature, right? So, um, <laughs> this uh, particular RFP um, tickled me because of what it's asking for. So, they're asking for food and vending services. So, in other words, this is a, a vending machine contract. <laughs> Y'all are like, what? They... They got vending machine contracts, yes. They often have vending machine contracts. If you think about when you travel and you drive and you stop at those state rest stops and they have the, the bathroom, the restroom, and stuff like that, and little vending machines, there is a third party company by way of a contract who is maintaining those snacks and beverages and uh, vending machines. Ain't that crazy? Never would have thought about that. Like, I thought that's something that the state takes care of. Like, they got their own fleet of vending machines. No, baby, that is that is us. I am, I am the contractor. It is my vending machines that are on state property to offer these services. And, of course, the state will take their cut, and I keep my cut, and everybody's happy. And to be honest, that's a – you get a state contract with vending machines, baby, that is lucrative, right? And low-key passive. It ain't much to it, right? So, pretty much the um, City of Dayton and the Department of Aviation, um, as well as the Recreation and Youth Services and Water and the Police Department and the Public Works, that's like, hold on, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you have six agencies in this city that are, that are working together um, so that you can bid on a vending machine contract with them over six different departments. That is major. And they are looking for highly qualified firms for the privilege, ooh, the privilege and authority to operate snacks, beverages, coffee, and food vending. Wow. And you know how people always like there's people who talk about getting 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 you some vending machines and that's passive income. You make some make some money here, make some money there. But baby, when you do vending machines on a state level, child, talk about the, the money coming in. And listen, it ain't no one, two little ringy dink little vending machines. I'm I went and added the numbers up, right? So for all those departments, and they, they outline how many um machines they have in their facilities, um, and what types of machines they are. Um, whether they're like a beverage or whether they're a combo, whether they're a drink machine, a coffee machine, a fresh food, um, like you're providing services like in the age, like in the airport, like on the, on the, they have like concourse A, concourse B, in the front of the terminal, in the garage, in the basement, in OPS, in TSA, in concourse B, in the taxi stand, in parking, then there's another airport. Um, that you have all these other divisions, youth services, like 
<laughs> when I tell y'all, there's a lot, there's a lot of bidding machines. So when I went to add it all up, the master number of vending machines that they want you to stock up and maintain is 85. The math is mathing on this one, okay? The math is mathing on this one. So if you are part of my resource membership group, I'm gonna drop this contract in our group so y'all could see it. If you're in Dayton, Dayton Ohio, Hey, baby, go for it. If you're in Ohio, go for it. Even if you're not in Ohio, but you have some skill sets um, in acquiring or operating uh, vending machines, go for it. <laughs> when I tell y'all, like, this vending machine, this contract just had me tickled. Like, I can't even, like, 85 machines, y'all. And the great thing about it is that at the bottom of this RFP, they give you some historical data as to how much some of these vending machines have made in the different locations. So that's that's a good marker to kind of go by because sometimes you just trying to sometimes people just want to know like what range should I be in um, in bidding. You know what I'm saying? And they have their stipulations. It's not a really, really long um, RFP. It is like it's 29 pages, so that's not that bad. Um, they're probably like 29 pages, not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, but they have a lot of good information. Most of them, most of the information in this RP is um, charts and whatnot. So um, that's good to know. So um, if you're in my resource membership group, definitely you're going to see a copy of this in the group. So that is exciting. If you're not in my resource uh, management, resource management, Lord have mercy. <laughs> if you're not in my resource membership, you might want to join. Okay, pull up all this. Go to www.albusinesssolutions.com and head over to services and sign up for our membership. We would love to have you, love to teach you guys how to find, how to source, how to even write your stuff. And remember, it's a process, okay? You're not going to learn everything on day one, day two, or maybe even day three. But some, but y'all might, there might be some superstars in my group, okay, um, that can get it like for nothing just quickly. And there's others that might take time. That's okay. Because guess what? These contracts ain't going nowhere. They come back around every year, okay? So the best thing that you can do for yourself is get yourself properly prepared for what you're about to experience. And just know that, you know, don't be discouraged if you get a no. You're not supposed to have that contract. That's all. There are many, many more. <laughs> I've gotten lots of no's, and I've gotten quite a lot of yeses. So the only way you, you can get yeses is if you keep, if you keep, keep yourself in the game. Like, don't leave. Stay in the game. It's not for no reason, right? But anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me on this next episode of Pipeline Conversations. We're talking about vending machines, baby. Um, the money, the money is moneying. The math is mathing. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow us in social media land on TikTok and in YouTube at Abby Supran and on IG at Abby Contracts. Y'all definitely want to uh, tune into the YouTube page because I have a lot of great videos that kind of show you. Um, how to get government contract ready. Um, I have a new series that's coming out on YouTube that shows you how to shop your shopping contracts. It's going to be fun uh, to like roll that one out. That one's very, very special. Um, if you have any questions, absolutely ask them. And I'll try to like respond, you know, I'll uh, at least, at least I do a video for y'all, you know, <laughs> but without further ado, I'll check y'all out later. Y'all make sure y'all tune in, like, share, and subscribe, tag, and add, add a friend on here who has a business, who needs to start a business, who needs to get in, in some business. <laughs> so someone needs to stay out your business. Okay, connect them with me. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember, we contract the baby. Peace.